August 14th, 2024. I'm Dr. Kemi. This guy right here, his name is Dr. Ali Pate. Dr. Ali Pate is the Minister of Health for Nigeria under the Tinubu administration. Dr. Pate, I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly, or is it Pate? Whatever your name is, Dr. Pate has to be the worst and the biggest clown in Nigeria's health history. Imagine a minister of health going on Channels TV, telling the host, Shinwaki, that there are other ways to reward doctors in Nigeria other than monetary gains. When she asked you, sir, do you intend to increase the salaries of doctors? Are you blind? This guy has to be the biggest clown in Nigeria's health history. Is he blind? Does he not know that no other country does what Nigeria does with doctors striking? Have you ever seen U.S. doctors go on strike? Do you know how that can paralyze a nation? Yet you had to tell Shun that if all the 17,000 doctors you trained last year came back from the UK, the NHS would be paralyzed. The point is that the NHS is not going to allow this system to be paralyzed and those doctors are not coming home. In America alone, Nigerian doctors are the forefront of medicine and these kind of clowns are in government. Dr. Ali Pate, you need to resign. You need to step down. And first of all, you need to be investigating your predecessor. Okay? Dr. Ehaniri did his own share of ruining the Ministry of Health, especially during the COVID pandemic. Dr. Ehaniri, Daisy Ehaniri's brother, Daisy Danchuma, Mayam Baker, they were all involved in that scheme of stopping those COVID test kits that Jack Ma, the Chinese billionaire, gave to Nigerians so they can test us. In America, people went through COVID testing before they could even get vaccinated. In China, everywhere in the world, they did COVID testing. But Nigerians rarely even saw that, not to talk of the vaccine. If you don't know about that, I investigated that because I was the journalist that was doing IJ COVID-19. If you guys did your job well, there won't be a lot of mess that's going on now. You should investigate Ehani Ray first. He was in the Buhari administration. The Ministry of Health is the most looted and NAFDAQ in all parastatals, but nobody goes that way to look at them. EFCC doesn't look that way. And at the end of the day, when I was calling out the Commissioner for Health of Cross River State, all of you kept quiet. Why don't you go investigate that? Dr. Beta Edu was the Commissioner for Health for Cross River State, and she was busy defrauding the state by increasing the prices of COVID ventilators. When I called her out, Nigerians in Cross River State were shouting at me. Of course, they're daft. Everybody's being an indigent. Don't yap our commission now. Don't yap. Beta Edu was a thief. She inflated all those ventilators and I was calling her out. Most of Nigerians didn't know who she was then. Dr. Beta Edu today came into Tinubu's government. First thing she did, stole. Now she's suspended. One by one, all of you need to resign and step down. Yeah, Dr. Pate, you need to step down. That's nonsense talk. There is no way you can salvage this administration. President Tinubu has to step down. This government is a zero. Okay, this government is a zero. My name is Dr. Kemi.